RNA synthesis or transcription begins at the nucleotide called the transcription start point, which is located in the promoter. Furthermore, the promoter determines which of the two DNA strands is used as a template DNA strand for transcription. Here the template DNA strand is 3' prime to 5'. Prime. A transcription factor then recognizes the tata box and binds to the promoter. After certain transcription factors bind to the promoter, the RNA polymerase II binds to the promoter, which creates a transcription initiation complex. Finally, the DNA double helix unwinds, and the RNA polymerase II begins transcribing the template strand at the start point. And this is the end of the initiation stage of transcription. During the elongation stage of transcription, the RNA polymerase moves downstream 3' prime to 5', prime, unwinding the DNA double helix and extending the RNA transcript 5' prime to 3'. Prime. Also, the DNA rewinds itself as the RNA transcript separates from the template DNA strand. During the termination stage of transcription, the RNA polymerase transcribes a terminator sequence which stops transcription. After, the completed RNA transcript is released from the template DNA strand and the RNA polymerase leaves the DNA. After transcription is RNA processing. Immediately after transcription, a modifying guanosine triphosphate is added to the 5' prime end of the mRNA. This 5 cap protects the mRNA from degradation and helps ribosomes attach to the mRNA. After addition of the 5 prime cap, the poly A tail comprising of 50 to 250 adenine nucleotides is added to the 3 prime end of the mRNA. Like the 5 prime cap, the poly A tail protects the mRNA from degradation and helps ribosomes attach to the mRNA. Also, the poly A tail seems to aid mRNA export from the nucleus. The next step to RNA processing is RNA splicing. Pre-mRNA, containing both exons and introns, joins with small nuclear ribonuclear proteins, or SNRMPs, and other proteins to create a spliceosome. Inside the spliceosome, snRNA base pairs with nucleotides at the ends of the intron. The spliceosome then excises the intron and splices the two exons together. The initiation stage of translation combines together mRNA the tRNA with the first amino acid, and the small and large ribosomal subunits. First, a small ribosomal subunit binds to both the mRNA and the initiator tRNA. Downstream is the star codon AUG, which signals translation to begin. The initiator tRNA with the anticodon UAC base pairs with the star codon. Afterwards, energy from GTP is used to attach a large ribosomal subunit. This completes the translation initiation complex. After, the initiator tRNA stays in the P site and the available A site is ready for the next amino acid tRNA. In the elongation stage of translation, amino acids are added one after another to the preceding amino acid. This stage occurs in a three-step cycle and involves the participation of several proteins called elongation factors. The first step is codon recognition, where an incoming amino acid tRNA binds to the codon in the A site. This requires the expenditure of two GTP molecules. The next step is peptide bond formation, where an rRNA molecule of the large ribosomal subunit, acting as a ribozyme, catalyzes the development of a peptide bond between the new amino acid and the carboxyl end of the elongating polypeptide.
The final step is translocation, where the tRNA in the A site is moved to the P site, and the tRNA in the P site is moved to the E site, also known as the exit site. And as a result, the ribosome shifts mRNA by one codon. Now that the tRNA is in the E site, it is now released from the ribosome. During the termination stage of translation, three events occur. First, when a ribosome arrives at a stop or termination codon, UAG, UAA, or UGA, the A site accepts a protein called a release factor instead of the typical tRNA. Next, the release factor hydrolyzes the bond between the tRNA and the P site and the completed polypeptide from the tRNA. This in turn releases the polypeptide from the ribosome. Finally, the two ribosomal subunits, mRNA and release factor, separate. And that's it. Transcription, RNA processing, and translation. Hope you enjoyed the presentation.